I've been following the leadership election for the Conservative Party, like I'm sure most of you have, on and off. And I think we're stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea here, really. I mean, we've got a choice of two people who I have no faith in whatsoever because they both represent a, uh, a, a thing that doesn't work anymore, in my view. Let's call it that, the government our system of democracy. They're just representations of something that's completely screwed. Now, we obviously don't have an alternative here. We've either got the devil or we've got the deep blue sea. Now, I'm going to call Rishi the devil and I'm going to call Liz Trust the deep blue sea for the sake of illustration. And I do wonder after some stuff that's come out in the media lately, has Rishi well and truly blown it? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Saturday. Hope you're doing alright. I'm not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, let's talk politics a second, shall we? Now, I've uh, followed this for, from the off, uh, you know, in, uh, you know, quite an amount of time. And we're down to the final two, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. Now, like all God, good politicians, I nearly said God politicians, and Freudian slip, sorry about that. They know how to talk, they know the things to say, they know the right buzzwords to get the electorate thinking. Well, at this stage, it's not the electorate, is it? It's not the whole country, it's just the members of the Conservative Party they're trying to appeal to. If they kiss enough arse, they will get the top job. And then, uh, you know, Hobson's choice, what happens with elections. Now, there's a piece of video that's uh, emerged of Rishi Sunak lately, and I do wonder, has he blown it? Have a look and see for yourself. I managed to start changing the funding formulas to make sure that areas like this are getting the funding that they deserve. Because we inherited a bunch of formulas from the Labour Party that shoved all the funding into deprived urban areas, uh, and they, you know, that needed to be undone. I started the work of undoing that. Yet another video along with that one where he said he doesn't have any working class friends where he's just proved how out of touch he is with the wishes and needs of the electorate. He's standing there in Tunbridge Wells, which is a big money area, and he's saying he's going to take money from deprived areas and give it to rich areas that probably don't even bloody need it. There is an awful lot of, you know, I'm going to sound bloody whatever here, but what the hell. There is an awful lot of people in this country right now who are looking for help and looking for support, who can't pay their bills, their gas, electricity, they can't put food on the table. And that's not to mention the food in the cars. And as a result, infrastructure and other things will start falling over. And this guy's saying he's going to take money away from those areas. So we'll end up with little pockets of poverty all over the place and then little pockets of rich bastards hiding out in their areas. Is this the vision of the country that Rishi Sunak wants? I don't think so. Leave me in comments what you think, Liz or Rishi. I mean, the best of the bad bunch, I suppose we've got to go with Liz really, haven't we? If you look at the two, but we're really fucked either way, unless something drastic changes. Let me know. Toodaloo.